Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we're diving into the world of UART communication. Ever wondered how devices like the Arduino talks to your PC or other microcontrollers? Well, that's where UART comes into play. UART or USART stands for Universal Synchronous Asynchronous Receiver Transmitter and is a serial communication protocol that almost every microcontroller be it an Arduino, ESP32, ATtiny or even a 10 cent microcontroller has. For UART communication, you need to have a transmitter and a receiver. The transmitter converts the data to be sent to a serial string of bits and sends them one bit at a time to the receiver via one data wire. Now, you wanna know what the cool part about UART communication is? Well, it's that you don't need a clock signal between the transmitter and the receiver, meaning you have an asynchronous communication. Instead, both devices use agreed upon settings like the baud rate, parity and stop conditions. The baud rate determines the communication speed, indicating how many bits are sent per second. Parity is used for error detection, while stop bits indicate the end of the data frame. Common baud rates are 4800, 9600 and 115200 bits per second. Which means one bit takes a 1 9600 of a second. That is 104 microseconds at a baud rate of 9600 bits per second. The data transmission starts by sending a low signal as a start bit. This is followed by the data frame that is 5 to 9 bits in length. Afterwards, one or no parity signal is sent to check for errors. The data packet then stops by sending one or two stop bits and if you need to send more data, then it is followed by sending another data packet. And now we're going to see a practical example of UART communication by connecting an Arduino Uno to a USB to TLTL adapter and sending example data back and forth using a serial console on your PC. So here's what you need. An Arduino Uno, a USB to TTL adapter, some jumper wires, and a PC with a serial console program installed like PuTTY or the Arduino IDE's serial monitor. Now we have to connect the RX and TX pins of the Arduino Uno to the corresponding pins on the USB to TTL adapter. Make sure to connect the TX from one device to the RX of the other device and vice versa. And that's it for the connections. Now we're going to open a serial console program on your PC and connect it with the Arduino and the TTL module. First, you need to select the COM port where the Arduino is connected to and select the baud rate for it in bits per second. Then we do the same for the USB to TTL module on our other COM board. And now we're just going to send and receive data from the Arduino and to the Arduino. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more exciting videos.